Today's organic conversion 34, I am going to discuss ethanol to n-propanol. Hello students, in this video we are going to convert ethanol to n-propanol. So this is ethanol which has two carbon atoms. We have to convert to propanol that means it has a three carbon atoms. Now let's see how we can prepare n-propanol from ethanol. Now ethanol we know this OH is not a beta leaving group. So we have to convert it to beta leaving group we can add H plus here. So then oxygen lone pair will attack H plus. So then it will be a beta leaving group that is CH3, CH2 and then O positive H2O. So now leaving group leave and we have to add some nucleophile. So here we are using sodium cyanide. We know Cn minus is a very strong nucleophile. So it undergoes SN2 reaction and we are getting CH3, CH2, Cn. One thing we have to remember when we want to increase the number of carbon atoms in the organic molecule, we have to use a cyano group or we can also can add Grenard reagent to increase the number of carbon atoms. So here we have introduced CN group into the organic compound molecule. Now here you can see we have a three carbon atoms. One, two, three. We started with only two carbon atoms. Now cyano group, if we add acidic hydrolysis means if we perform a acidic hydrolysis it convert to carboxylic acid so that means we are getting propanoic acid propanoic acid now propanoic acid when we treat with lithium aluminum hydride a strong reducing agent this carboxylic acid group reduced to CH2OH. So that means we will be getting CH3, CH2, CH2OH. So that means we are getting propanol. We can prepare in another way also like cyano when we treat with dibal. Dibal is a mild reducing agent it convert to cyano group to CHO means aldehyde. So we are getting propanol. Now when we treat propanol with any kind of reducing agent, we can use sodium borohydride also. CHO group convert to primary alcohol. This group, CHO group, convert to primary alcohol. So we are getting in propanol. 